Hi guys, this is Sarah. We're going to talk about gender roles, gender stereotypes, and gender norms. Here's how I think we can break those three things. It all starts when you're younger. Think about it. All the toys girls get when they're younger versus all the toys boys get when they're younger. What are the toys that girls get when they're younger? They get cooking things, beauty things, domestic things, things that will make them think, hey, when I grow up, maybe I'm only limited to these options. Maybe I'm going to grow up and I'm going to, I'm going to like cook or I'm going to go into beauty or I'm going to do creative things, art, fashion, like anything like that. What do we see in the boys toys? Like, uh, boy section. We see action figures, we see cars, we see engineering, we see building. We see all of this stuff. When you watch commercials on TV, you see all these commercials of the guy toys and it has this deep voice going, buy these toys and they're all blue and they're all dark. Action figure, fight, fight, fight. And it's all like building things and it's guys using their analytical mind and learning how to build and engineer and explore that path which is great what about girls do we see any girls in those boy commercials aha there's this saying that you can't be what you can't see right if girls aren't seeing girls in these boy commercials Sorry that we got to gender everything. If girls aren't seeing other girls in these commercials for boy things, girls are going to start thinking that they can't play with those toys. Their options are being limited. They're going to think, well, I don't see any girls in those commercials, so maybe I'm not supposed to build. Maybe I'm not supposed to use logical thinking or do engineering. Same with guys. If guys don't see any other boys in those girl commercials, they're going to think that they're not allowed to cook. They're going to think when they're older that cooking is girly, which is terrible. We as a society and as parents, we are almost perpetuating a stereotype at this young age and it's affecting the way children grow up. Basically, if you go to a store, you see girls toys on this side, which is pink and purple. And then you see boys toys on this side, which is blue and green or like whatever, just darker colors. If we keep separating boys toys from girls toys, we're basically putting this wall in between us. We're basically saying, girls, you cannot explore that side because those are the boys toys. They label it like that. Usually by age three, girls and boys know their gender identity and gender expression and they start to view everything around them. So they know what they are. And they're like, well, that says boys section. That means I can't go over there. That means I'm not allowed to buy cars. I'm not allowed to buy those trains and like building blocks and things that I could use for logical thinking. Same with the girls section. Boys see the label girls section where it's all pink and stuff. And their mind thinks, all right, pink means girly and feminine. I don't belong over there. So I'm not allowed to use the cooking stuff or the beauty stuff or anything to do with creativity. People might think this is so innocent because they're young, they're just toys, but no. Think about it. Why do most men go into these jobs like building, engineering, and all these like logical science and math and technology jobs. Why? Because when boys are young, their toys revolve around technological things. Like, look at Lego. In the old Lego commercials, and kind of still today, you only see boys in those Lego commercials. But as soon as they put girls in the Lego commercials, girls started to see that. And they're like, girls are in the commercials, so maybe I could use Lego. And that is good. Because now, we're not limiting opportunities for girls. Girls could grow up, be builders, engineers, and they can go into science, technology, engineering, or math, which is great. We should be encouraging girls to go for all of these jobs. Maybe guys are too hyper-masculine. Maybe the reason why guys are all about gore and like all this stuff is because of the toys that they played with. I'm not saying make them hyper-feminine, 
But I'm also not saying make girls hyper feminine. If people have such a problem with guys being feminine or girls being masculine, why don't we start bringing the girls and boys toys together so girls and boys have an equal opportunity of playing with whatever toys that they want? We're creating this barrier between boys and girls and that makes them grow up to believe in these gender stereotypes, these gender norms, and these gender roles. And that really does affect society. Maybe that's why we have a lot of um, transphobia and homophobia in this world still. Because people have these set, like these mindsets from a younger age that girls can only do one thing and boys can only do a one, another thing. And it's sad. To decrease that hyper masculinity, maybe it's okay if they learn how to cook. It is a great skill that guys know how to cook and maybe use that creativity side of their mind, you know? And maybe to decrease hyper femini femininity in girls, maybe, most definitely, it's okay if they go over and use some things that guys usually play with. I don't even think that they should be called girls toys or boys toys. Why are we gendering toys? Gendering objects puts a barrier between people. And I don't see why society is so scared to have a middle ground. Why is it always black and white? Why is there always a left side and a right side? Why? Why can't we come together, put all the toys together, all these things together, and make them gender neutral? I swear, if we had more gender neutral stuff in this world, people wouldn't be complaining, oh, that's too masculine, oh, that's too feminine, oh, you can't wear this, you can only wear this. If we had more gender neutral stuff in this world, People could have more accessibility to anything that they wanted. Gender neutral stuff means more accessibility. And actually, in terms of marketing, that could actually help. If you only have toys for boys, yeah, you'll get money from that side. But if you have toys for boys and girls, guess what? More money for you because more people are buying your stuff. More toys should be made for both genders. There wouldn't be a barrier. There wouldn't be a divide. It would just create a better society for everybody. There would probably be less bullying because you wouldn't have a child going to school and have his friends saying, why are you wearing that? That's pink. Are you kidding me? It's a color. It is 2015 and we need to break down gender norms and gender roles and gender stereotypes. Just let people do what they want to do and sometimes it's for the better. We need to make this happen and it starts with parents, it starts with society, it starts with marketing, it starts with the media and the commercials. Children's minds are like a sponge, they absorb. They're so influenced by the media. If you let them watch commercials, they're going to be influenced by that and perpetuated by tons of stereotypes, for like gender stereotypes. Either mute the commercials and don't let them watch commercials or make commercials that won't perpetuate that gender stereotype. We need to start bringing people together, not creating two sides. It's not us against them. This world is not black and white as we know. It all starts from a very young age. Parents should really consider a lot of gender neutral stuff for their kids. No, it won't confuse them with their gender identity because you're not saying Girls have all this boy stuff. Boys have all this girl stuff. No, it's called gender neutral. It's, it's, it's a gray area. It's like right in the middle. Therefore, you're not forcing your kids to be one way. You're not saying, hey, I have a daughter. That means you got to be this way. No, you're basically leaving it up to interpretation. Like, I will give you this stuff, but you can decide from there. It might be very liberal minded, but guess what? It makes sense to me and actually I think the society would be way better. Why would you rather have a conservative old mind? I'm sorry, but all those people are dying off and it's getting really annoying. I don't, I don't care if liberal is a fucking insult these days. It shouldn't even be called liberal minded thinking. It should just be called fucking right minded thinking, correct minded thinking. When they grow up, they won't have these structured expectations or whatever. If you guys have any experience with gender or stereotypes or anything that you've seen in your life or anything that anyone has said to you, put it down in the comments. I would love to see them. Maybe we can talk. Please like and subscribe. Make videos whenever I want, whenever I can, and whenever it's most convenient. All my social media links are on my channel. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye.
Hey guys, it's Sarah. I know it's been a while since I've posted a video, you know,